All right. So, um, we have two teachers in a middle school. Now, I don't know if it's the same middle school or different middle schools who are suing the school district for having their religious beliefs violated. Their, their religious freedom violated. And the reason it was violated is because there is a, a law that says, I don't know if it's a law or just the rule of the school district, I think it's a law, that trans kids cannot be outed to their parents. So if they come in and they decide that they want a certain name, a certain pronoun, the teachers need to, you know, respect kids, which you would think that teachers would actually care about children and educating children as opposed to their religious beliefs because, you know, it's personal. It's none of, it's not your place to force your beliefs onto others. So, not surprisingly, they got fired. Now, there's there's two parts to this. Number one, it is just it makes you a completely shitty person. Well, actually, three parts. It makes you a completely shitty person to out anybody to anybody. Even it, whether it's a child being outed to a parent, whether it's a parent being outed to other parents, it doesn't matter. You do not out people. The only person who gets a say in who knows that information, whether you're gay or trans or whatever, the only person who gets a say in who learns that information is that person. You do not get to decide that just because, in this case, oh, parents are the biggest child's advocate, they need to know this information. If the child felt that the parents were their advocate, do you think they wouldn't have told them by now? So there's that. I mean, obviously, if we're talking of a situation where the parents know, there's no problem. But there are many parents who are obviously like these dipshits who, who probably would have a problem with their children being trans. So what, what are you gaining? Maybe, maybe these teachers actually do want the bad things to happen to these kids. They refer to them as gender confused, that God made male and female. A lot of these kids, what do you, what the hell do you think they're transitioning to? They're transitioning from, from being a man to being a woman, most often. I mean, there are non-binary, yes. But for the most part, you're transitioning from one binary to the other. Now, that's number one. Number two, as I've mentioned before, biological sex and gender are two different things. One's a social construct, and one is biology. So, there is that. And even if, even if they, they were just gender confused or whatever crap that people think they are, even if they were, how exactly is outing them to their parents helping anything? I mean... You know, the parents are just going to get angry or maybe they're going to try to fix them and not in the good way. I mean, I fail to see what the problem with being trans. Yeah, there are some kids who might grow out of it. That's that's a thing that happens. But again, this is for this is the child's journey. They're learning about themselves. They're trying to figure themselves out and to decide that the parents should know. No, unless the child is doing something to harm themselves or people around them. 
what business is it of yours? So that's the first thing. The second thing that they said was um, that, that they didn't feel comfortable with the fact that they had to lie. So all I can ask these these um, teachers is, so you've never thrown a surprise party, you've never um, gone, you've never given anyone a surprise of taking them, oh, I don't know, to their favorite restaurant, but because you wanted it to be a surprise, it wasn't until they got there that, I mean, what exactly, okay, you are lying. Yes, you are. And the Bible does say you shouldn't lie. But white lies are done all the time. And again, this is not exactly lying because you're a horrible person. You're lying because you're protecting children, which I'm sorry, I thought teachers wanted to protect children. But the fact that they claim that these children are gender confused says everything you need to know about them. They don't feel the need to protect them from their parents because they think that whatever punishment, whatever the parents end up doing to their child is somehow justified because there's something wrong with the kid. So, first off, you're, you're a complete and utter asshole. Please stop. And secondly, if you're in a job that makes you do something that makes you so uncomfortable that you've decided on your own to, oh, I don't know, not do it. Um, I've also read that one of these teachers would um, preach during gym class because there's, I guess there's something about physical education in the Bible? Yes, I've read the Bible. I know there isn't. And same thing with trans, that there's nothing about trans in there. So again, even if they were changing their biology, which they're not, man and woman and male and female almost always coexist. They almost always are the same. Not always, though. And it is not up to you to decide that, you know, because God made male and female, that somehow that means that everyone was born in the right body. These are the same people who say God never makes mistakes. Well, then explain this one. Anyway. So, so... But if something is making you that uncomfortable, and this is not hardly the first example of this happening, but if you, some if part of your job makes you so uncomfortable, there is a workaround, and not and it's not to just do your own thing until you get fired, and then whine because you got fired, and sue people. No. The solution is to find a job that more closely aligns with your beliefs because private schools exist. And I can bet you anything that they would not knowingly accept a trans student because now depends on the school, I would I would suppose. But I would think that if you get to the point where you're in a private religious school, you're probably not high on the, on the not being a bigot. So, I, so then quit. Just quit your job. Find a, find a job that more closely, um, more closely resembles what you feel comfortable with. Because, ironically, you're whining about your comfort while at the same time making these children at best uncomfortable by misgendering them by um and at worst you could get them killed by telling their parents 
or at least making them homeless. So, ironically, these religious nut jobs, and this this is with any fascist, that they seem to want to have a certain level of comfort that they're not affording other people because somehow they're better than everybody or something. Because what the hell? You, you don't want to treat trans people like human beings? Awesome. You, 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 number one, you better damn well treat them like human beings or you're going to get yourself in trouble with the law at, at, at best because at, because this, 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 this is just stupid. You, you really need to rethink why are you working in a public school? when your religious beliefs are the dominant thing. Do you think you're trying to save people? No, that is not your job. That is totally not your job. Your job is to teach. Your, do, do students look to teachers to, for advice and for help in certain situations when their home life sucks? Yes, but I assure you that they will not look to you because, because you basically invalidate their entire existence. And who, why would anyone want to go through that mental anguish? So again, you don't, you don't feel comfortable? Well, that's great. You're making your students uncomfortable. So maybe it's best if you just leave that situation. That way... Both the students are be are better off and you're better off because you're in an environment that you feel comfortable in. Because obviously your comfort somehow means something to you. Where whereas it does seems to not exist for other people. You can make them as uncomfortable as you want. So, like I said, this is not by far not the first example. The most famous one being Kim Davis, who's a clerk of courts, who was a clerk of courts in Kentucky. And she so believed that homosexuality, bleh, that homosexuality was wrong and that she would burn in hell just by it, administering, by issuing marriage licenses. And you could hear it. You could see it. She was absolutely scared shitless that she was going to burn in hell for this okay here's an idea instead of getting your ass um through the legal system because you're not you know doing what you're supposed to which is following the law and issuing um same-sex marriage certificates instead of going through all that how about find another job that doesn't require you to do that? There are jobs out there where you do not have to deal with gay people. If gay people, if the idea of being nice to gay people is that abhorrent to you and that frightening, then go somewhere where you don't have to at least knowingly deal with gay, gay people. It's really not that hard. Because I'm sure these same people are the same ones who look at um, at unemployed people and think, oh, finding a job is not hard. Look at all the jobs that are out there. And without giving a second thought to how hard it is to actually get one of those jobs as opposed to, you know, just them just being there. So anyway, it's just so frustrating that so many religious people, and it's even worse when it's doctors, when doctors um, who are supposed to be non-judgmental and help whomever comes through their doors 
Hospitals have treated the enemy in a war zone. And why do they do that? Because that's their damn job. They don't, they don't hold out and say, oh, are you part of this faction? Oh, sorry, can't help you. You know, you're the enemy. They don't do that. So why is it that your personally held religious beliefs all of a sudden becomes this wedge issue? Especially for doctors, they go through so many years of medical school. At what point did you not consider the fact that your beliefs are absolutely contrarian to your profession? It's just maddening how these people do not think anything through. They want to do this, that, and the other thing, but they don't realize that when you're dealing with the public, you cannot force your religion down their throats. You cannot preach to them. You cannot decide that because you don't like trans people that you're going to disrespect any child who happens to be trans. You don't get to do that for anyone in the LGBT community. You don't get to do that with anyone. I mean, there are so many times when adults have to deal with someone who's mind-numbingly stupid, and they have to bite their tongue because, for whatever reason, they can't come out and say, how dumb are you? So you either do the same thing with your job or if it's that painful and you're really, really concerned for your immortal soul, you find another job where you don't have to make that compromise. You do not try to force the institution to, to give in to you because that is not how society works. You want to be a a bigot and hide behind your religion to do that great you can you can be a bigot but guess what there are going to be consequences to that just like the the so-called free speech advocates who whine about how your free speech is being violated because they actually had consequences to something stupid they said well um, yeah, you had free speech. The government isn't silencing your speech, but there is consequences because the institution you said this to didn't take kindly or the public didn't take kindly or whomever the audience was for your stupid ass comment. So no, no, con free speech has consequences. So even in that case, you're wrong. Your religious, your religious freedom was not violated. You just decided your religious beliefs trumped everybody else's. And again, don't, you don't like the, you don't like that you can't impose your religion on other people. Find some place that, that will accept it because you're not doing yourself or the institution any favors. Something like this will happen, and I hope they lose. Since this is California, I'm in this case, I'm, I'm hoping that they will lose and lose big because California, except for a few pockets, are, is generally a liberal state. So they're not going to believe this nonsense of religious freedom as if, that's that's a that's a cudgel that you can hit anybody over the head with and they just have to let you be able to say whatever bigoted stupid shit comes out of your mouth because religious freedom well guess what other people have religious freedom too and they have the freedom to say that you're a bigot and they have the freedom to shut you down because you're not the only one with the freedom it's not just because you're you're in your mind the good little christian that somehow that means that nobody else has freedom of speech no we all do 
and we all have and we have rules in this society and if you don't like the rules go somewhere where the rules are what you like now if the rules were completely um that you really felt that the rules were horrible like um when slavery was legal because yes that was a thing it wasn't just that slavery happened it was actually legal so yeah there are certain laws that you can work to change this is not working to change them this is just flaunting the law because you feel like your religious beliefs are more important than anything else so no no that's not even you trying to um change a bad law you just decided that you were going to flaunt it which is not the same thing as advocacy so yeah this this is happening in bunches i'm sure it happens more frequent than what i'm hearing but it does happen and i really wish these people would just deal with their narcissism because yes it is narcissism it is a huge ego to think that by by somehow their interpretation of their religion somehow gives them the right to to um to walk over everybody else no it doesn't you have your religious beliefs other people have theirs and I'm sorry that your religious beliefs clashed with this school, but you know what? If you're not willing to follow the rules that are laid out and you're not willing to properly advocate for them where you explain why these rules shouldn't exist, then, you know, just go find another job because all you're doing is making a bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger ass of yourself. So anyway, um, I think I covered everything I wanted to on this topic. And I will see you next time.